The purpose of this learning objective is to understand present value concepts and the use of present value tables in financial calculators for value annuities. Rather than considering the present value or future values of a lump sum, now we will concern ourselves with the present value or future value of a series of cash flows. An investment involves a series of identical cash flows at the end of each year or each period is called an annuity. Common examples of annuities are home mortgage loans or car loans where we have a set payment every month for a predetermined number of years. The payout on a lottery, $50,000 a year for 20 years would be an example of a lottery. Quite often when we are saving for retirement, we will set aside the same amount every year for a number of years, say 5000 a year for 30 years to save for our retirement. When we retire, the money we withdraw from our retirement account, if we withdraw an equal amount every year or every month for a set number of years, that would another, be another example of an annuity. Let's go ahead and find the future value of a series of cash flows, the future value of an annuity. Let's assume that we invest $1,000 at the end of each of the next five years in an account that will pay 10% interest. How much will you have in the account at the end of five years? Notice we're making our contributions or investments at the end of each year. Rather than making our contributions at the end of each year, we could have made them at the beginning of the year, in which case we would refer to this as an annuity due. In this course, we'll be concerning ourselves only with cash flows that happen at the end of the period, which is considered a normal or ordinary annuity. So let's go ahead and see how much we would have at the end of five years if we invested $1,000 a year at 10% interest for five years. Since we're making our contributions at the end of each year, at the end of one year, we would have $1,000 in our account. We would not have yet earned any interest. After two years, our account would have a total of $2,100. The contribution of $1,000 that we made in the first year would have compounded or earned interest of $100. The amount we put in in year two has not yet had any compounding at all. If we continue to make this contribution for a third year, now notice the amount that we put in in year one has grown over a two-year period and will have earned $210 in interest. The amount we put in at the end of year two has only compounded for one year and earned a hundred dollars in interest. And of course the amount we've just put in at the end of year three has not yet earned any interest. Continuing on to year four, the amount we put in year one now would have compounded for three periods. The amount we put in for year two for two periods, the amount we put in at year three would have compounded one period, and again, the amount we've just put in at the end of year four would not have compounded at all. And we can see that after five years, we would have a total future value of $6,105. We could solve for this amount manually using a formula for the future value of an annuity, which we're not going to go over here. We can use our financial calculator, in which we would put 5 for the number of periods, 10 for the interest rate, 0 for the present value, because we did not begin with any money in our retirement account. And the payment would have been $1,000 a year. And again, that's at the end of each period for five years. And then we could solve for the future value. And we would get $6,105. If we were to use our future value annuity factor tables, we would come across to our 10% interest rate and we would come down to five periods and where those two intersect is the future value factor of 6.105 so we would multiply the amount of our investment which was $1000 by our 6.105 future value factor and we would have $6,105 as the future value of this annuity. Let's now consider finding the present value of a series of cash flows. In this problem we have Lacey Inc. has purchased a tract of land on which a $60,000 payment will be due each year for the next five years. 
what is the present value of the stream of payments when the discount rate is 12%. So again, we have a payment of 60000 a year for five years. So we have an annuity, a five-year annuity at 12% interest. Let's go ahead and find the present value of these payments. The first $60,000 payment that we make at the end of year one has a present value of $54,545. That's simply the $60,000 divided by 1.1 1. Uh, 1 to the first power. The $60,000 that we that payment we make in year two has a present value of $49,586. That's 60,000 divided by 1.1 squared. The third year payment has a present value of $45,078. The fourth year payment will be discounted back at 10% for four years and has a present value of $40,980. And finally, the fifth year payment has a present value of $37,255. So the total present value of all of our payments is $227,447. We could have also done a similar calculation using our financial calculator. In our financial calculator, we would enter 5 for the number of periods, 10 for the interest rate, $60,000 for the annuity payment or annual payment we're making each year and zero for the future value because after our final payment of $60,000 in year five we will not make any additional payments. Finally, solving for the present value we would get the $227,447. Finally, we could also use our present value annuity factor tables we would come over to our 10% interest rate and we would highlight that. We would come down to five periods and where the two intersect we have a factor of 3.791. If we multiply that 3.791 by the $60,000 annual payment we will get $227,000 four hundred and forty seven dollars. Notice if I were to change the payment to one we have the factors. Here's the 3.79. If it was for six periods the factor would be 4.355. For seven periods it would be 4.868. Again this simply means that at 10 percent and seven years that $1 a year payment has a present value of $4.86. Over a five-year period, $1 a year for five years at 10% interest, each dollar will grow to $3.79 in terms of our present value. So $1 has a present value of $3.79. $2 would have a present value of twice that, $7.58. $3 would have had a present value of three times as much, $11.37. And $60,000 has the present value that we calculated a minute ago of $227,447.